was a good clap, guys. Man, we're good. That was a good is that clap. good? Yeah, it sounded good. Sure. It's gonna be a great show. I only heard one sound. All right. Did someone not clap thing. and are too, embar too embarrassed to say so? I we didn't got... clap and I'm not embarrassed to say so. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you didn't need to clap. You're okay. Yeah, this Bruce is, uh, can clap again. His finger's fixed. This is I a know, crowded episode of oh, yeah, Open House. We got a lot of special oh. guests. Oh, yeah. We have that. Matt Peak so over there and then Lawrence Sontag. Bruce Green finally back. Bruce Green here on the show. To be honest with you, look, I couldn't play games for five weeks. I couldn't play, like, my piece Has it already been five weeks since you broke your finger? Yeah. Time flies when your finger's broken. That's what I always say. Your first question comes from Rouse Dennis. Uh, Dentist, what are your hopes for E3 this year? Mm. I, I hope it goes away. Lawrence? I want them to announce a brand new kind of animal. That's uh, cool. Like a giraffe in Last of Us? It's not a joke yeah. show. Please be serious. <laughs> like some kind of like hybrid fox uh, fish. I have a so, serious answer. Swims around in the Go ocean. Go for it. Has uh, ears. I want to see or have playable Last Guardian. Play uh, Zelda. I mean, obviously it won't be on the NX, but Wii U. Like a new Ubisoft... Uh, art framework game. Those are the three things You're I not going to get that. What you will get is a new game from David Cage. Oh. And, um, there but, that one. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're going to get what to see a lot more of it. Could feel. But the, oh. the difference about this E3 is Fucking that this David time Cage. it's just going to be the porno that he's wanted to make all along. So it's going to be a porno game and then at one point about an hour and 15 minutes in there'll be a prompt that says triangle and you hit it the game will continue for another 45 minutes and then it's done. Do we get naked on Cage? Yeah, Naked Ellen Page is, naked is a poster in the background, but then there's all kinds of other naked celebrities that he's never seen naked before, just thrown into the game. game you forgot show. the most important part of the whole show. Santa? <gasps> Shenmue 3. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! Next question from the Wilk Man. Uh, <laughs> Nintendo has just asked Funhouse to design a new Pokemon for Pokemon Sun and Moon. What is its type, and what will it look like? We all have to collaborate on this one. We don't have time for everyone to have their own it's answer. True. So we just make the fun house -amon. The fun house -amon? Okay, well, so the, okay. That, that's the name of the, the fun house -amon. Fun, 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 fun house What kind of noise does it make? It just goes... So doesn't it say its name? Don't they all say their name? <laughs> that's its that name. Its no. name. <laughs> oh, oh, spell okay. that. It's I can't... <laughs> Okay. Chokasaur. I was um, gonna say Queefasaur. But... What oh. element is the Pokemon? It's what? A, it is a queef. Water. It's a queef <laughs> element. Air, it's a wind. Water, <laughs> air, wind, that's all a queef. All three. So right. it looks like a tiny little queef, okay. right? But then it evolves Oops. into... A larger queef. Yeah, a larger a bigger queef. queef. And the sound also changes to go... Oh. Okay. It's cuter. Kind of like upwards like that? I would say it also has Charlie's face, because Charlie has the prettiest face That's of all true. of us. That's true. Including, so inclu including at least And it comes Bruce out of the Pokemon trainer's pretty. vagina. Uh -huh. Oh, oh That's good. Wait, does it pop out as a ball and then the ball opens and the queef pops out of that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you really got to push, though. Yeah. Just I choose you! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 snakes! It smells Dude. like fish! Someone dropped a bomb on the <laughs> battlefield! You can have this badge! <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a throw. She'd, she'd just be like, I choose you! Oh. 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 <laughs> Hold on. Give me a minute. Just a minute. And here she goes. Pops right out. Bation. Rope or gun? Uh, if this is for killing myself, I'd probably just go with the gun. Matt Peak. Neither. Barbara. Both. Adam. Uh, gun in the butt, rope on the neck. Nice. If this uh, is for killing Charlie, then I'm going to definitely go with a rope. Lawrence, I like that, so I suffer more. Yep, it's good. And slower. <sighs> Shit, man, all the all the good answers to take. I'm gonna use both, but I'm gonna have the gun across the room, and I'm gonna use the rope to pull the trigger. Oh, that's cool. So I can frame. Oh, whip it. Man. That's really it's good. It's kind of like when someone kills himself with a really long shotgun, so they have to use their toe. Yeah, and yeah. at some point, when the barrels in their mouth, they're thinking, "God, this is stupid," <laughs> and then it's over. <laughs> I want the policeman to open the door and be like, "What the fuck? Yeah. He could have just shot himself." God. Elise, Elise? I'm Nirvana gonna go cool. rope. I think. All right. Uh, no particular reason. I'm going, I'm going grope. Oh, both. Uh, oh, the gun rope. Yeah, that's the gun rope. Oh, a gun called, that shoots so rope. You, it's called the grope. You whip it. <laughs> it's called and the grope. Fire. But no, it, no, it fires into people's genitals, though. Only, only the genitals. The genitals. No, it's, it's, the the gun, it's the gun that fires rope around your neck. Nope, only and their genitals. It's called the grope. How grop. does that... Well, I guess... The grope? Does it fire, does it fire like a gonna big kill club you. that just hits somebody's genitals and tickles under a little bit? Yeah, gets at them. You're like, ah! Yeah, it fires little yarnies. And then the yarnies grab on your genitals and grab them. Knock something over. Uh, Lawrence. Yeah, oh. Uh, Ray Lois Cannon? Ray Lois Cannon? Ray Lois Cannon. Ray Lois. Lois. Hmm. Uh, so I'm currently it, working on a crime novel, but haven't figured out what my protagonist should look like. Any ideas? It's a giant queef. 
We've already done that. Oh, one. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, face? Look like it should have Charlie's face. Charlie's face. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Charlie's face, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's Charlie's face, but then he's got to wear like a big trench coat, right? Like oh, Inspector yeah. Gadget type show. Yeah, like absolutely. Inspector Gadget. But underneath the trench coat is two midgets. Two smaller Charlies. Me and Elise. <laughs> and Barbara and, and Barbara. Right there. But all four of them. So, so a midget hair. version yeah. of Barbara <laughs> and Elise. Oh, filled gosh. to the brim. On top of each other, okay. filling the rest, yeah, Bump filling the rest of the coat with Bump smell and, and yeah. waste. What makes him the world's greatest detective, Matt Peek? Uh, he's a hobbit, so he can fit in small places. And oh, oh, so he's even shorter. So, so he's, they're, they're shorter <laughs> midgets. They have to be midget <laughs> versions of hobbits. They're like the borrowers <laughs> inside a hobbit. Good reference. They call us the the breezy detective because we well, solve cases like a breeze, but also because we're queefing all the time. <laughs> all the time. That's how what you guys for crimes friends? you solve. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. We don't, uh, but uh, we have a good, we have a great time. Good at interrogation. Uh, <laughs> Ray Lois, I can't wait to read the. Were you there? The finished. Were you there? Ah, oh, it smells like vinegar. No, it's a, it's, it's, you know, it's Ray Lois Cannon. Right? <laughs> What? Uh, Raylo is cannon. No, it's Raylo is oh, cannon. Oh, Kylo Ray. Kylo Ray, yeah, get it? Yeah. <laughs> Two guns, Geronimo. You could hi if you could hire any movie actor, dead or alive, to be the Funhouse intern, who would it be, and what would be their first assignment? Uh, Ray Liotta. And we <laughs> Ray He's Liotta. Rest in peace, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's fine. Uh, uh, we dig him up, and we'd have him organize our shared hard drive. Oh, our yeah. Fire, He's good at that. Oh, I've heard. I got That's his thing. I got <laughs> I want to see Rayleigh. Really yeah. Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta impressions wow. coming out of the closet. <laughs> it doesn't Come move. Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> oh wow, two Ray Liotas. <laughs> Double the hard drive space. Anybody <laughs> else got one? Actually, Charlie, who who do you want to work here? I'm curious. Probably just Dale Earnhardt. Oh, <laughs> he's that's right. Well, he'd be great say though. Phil Hartman. Yeah, he'd be real good. Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman. Yeah. That's talented. That's a, yeah. Those are amazing yeah. interns. Give me more coffee, Phil Hartman. <laughs> he's just lying there. <laughs> <laughs> His head blown off. <laughs> <laughs> he's still got the string on his finger from where he wired the gun up. The gun. No, he didn't commit suicide. His wife killed him. She, sure. she put the string on his finger to make it look like suicide. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Matt Peake, bring us back. Hold on. No, I, I want to say Billy Zane. No, all right. Don't yeah. you guys want to hang out with Zane, the Zane man? Zane. I feel like so fucking dumb. his ego might get in the way. What ego? <laughs> uh, I'd have Sir Ian McKellen. And then I would just I'd just reach under, I'd pull out a jar full of pickle brine, I'd slide it across the table. So you drink it. Matt <laughs> Peek. Next question or my answer for oh, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a very valid question. Uh, which movie actor would you hire? I'll go with uh, Patrick Stewart, or maybe it's is it Sir Patrick Stewart? I think yeah, it's sure. He's not dead. I mean you can say that about any person. Well, really. I don't think that's a good idea, because if we got Ian McKellen in here, and we got Patrick Stewart, they're going to be like two schoolgirls <laughs> back there giggling yeah, with each other, talking about Shakespeare and shit. Who wouldn't want that? I don't want It's going to be disruptive. Yeah, that's bull that's bullshit. they got to do Photoshop's for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Magneto and Professor X is sticking around back there. Just their crippled hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up over there, Sir Ian! <laughs> McKellen, like, he takes out this giant go thing. So fast. How do you turn this off? She just did an Ian McKellen impression. Was that your Ray Liotta? A thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Barbara, Barbara, next question. <laughs> Which cartoon character from your childhood would Wait, make... hold on, read who it's from. Oh, yeah, jeez, give him credit. Is. Oh, this is why you asked me to do this. The Erect Pianist. No, I didn't mean to do that. Which I wish cartoon I could character from your childhood would make for the best lover? Hmm. Gadget. Oh, oh yeah, it's Gadget. Gadget. She got that tail. Mm. What's now I really want to think of someone who's also a... What's I'm going gonna, gonna to piggyback on this. You got this in my head, but the uh, the... I think her name is... Rebecca, she's the she's the One person who runs the cargo company from Tailspin. Oh, oh I think yeah, it was Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. Was it Rebecca? Or Becky, yeah. Becky something? Who cares? Did you guys ever see Fern Gully? No, yeah. yeah. You know, Tim like, Curry. Let's hit that. Yeah, the ooze <laughs> or swamp the monster. Slime. They can get everywhere. The slime. Name is, yeah, he can just get in every area. Ooh. Yeah, fill you with air. Exactly. Charlie? No, not more air. Charlie, which which Blow cartoon up like character? A blue. I don't know if he's a cartoon character per se, but Max Steel, if any of you. Yeah. No, yeah. Going Turbo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. He snowboarded he was a CG at least once character. an episode. Like, it was awesome. Yeah. He's like from? post reboot from Max Steel. He's from a show called Max Steel. Yeah. Oh. It was tr supposed to be a toy line, but apparently only Charlie saw it. So. <laughs> I saw a lot of weird shit. Uh, I'm gonna say She-Ra, obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say Freakazoid. <laughs> like oh, oh yeah. Freakazoid. Wow. He'd just be a Good fucking answer. dynamo. I was gonna ask. To clarify the question, is it the best lover for us or just in general? For you. Yeah. Oh. It's a freakazoid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just the Rito says I nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. Alright, read the first uh, word and Matt Peek will read the second. This 
question is for Omar, but since he doesn't answer any questions, I'll ask the rest of you instead. What would the Omar's game of Thrones house emblem and motto be? That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was our stupidly red question of the week. Oh! What would Omar's Game of Thrones house um, emblem and model be? be a pair of shoes. But no, he'd be, oh, the, yeah. he'd be the ocean. He'd be the ocean. He, would, you, he loves the ocean. How do you make the oh, ocean into a pair of shoes too. submerged in water? And then... Be PMA the, all day, right? What? His motto? Oh yeah, his, his motto would be PMA all day. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know Omar at all. So. Well, you should learn nice to get to know him. Go talk to him right now. Go on, Barbara. Go go, go have a conversation with Omar. experience Omar. Omar. Just don't yeah. ask him anything. He doesn't like that. He's like, ask his questions. Yeah, so you don't can only phrase Omar. things. Just stand next to him. You can only <laughs> phrase it in, uh, phrase your questions in the form of a statement. Barbara, stand next to him though. Okay. Yeah. Be positive. Go to, just, just. Is Omar recording? Oh, no. no. Don't say anything to him. Yeah, so don't say anything, but get to know him better. You queef on him or something? So his his motto would be cowardliness is next to godliness. Ooh, we gotta go find him now. One. And then I remember biting into it because I made a sandwich out of it. I was like, oh, oh. and then I lost a bite of it because it rolled out of my mouth while I was gagging. And you finished it? And then I was like, God, I'm so hungry and I have no food and no money. <laughs> so I just like finished eating it. Wow. And also like this was. This was right at the end of my freshman year, and all of my roommates were gone. And they were, like, freshman dudes. So I was sitting in a room that smelled gone. like ass, eating, like, spoiled food by myself, uh, with no air conditioning because the electricity got shut off because my fucking roommate couldn't pay the bill.